plaintiff, LaJoyce Carter Joyner, says her stepson dated the defendant. And despite the fact that she is 81 years old, she's currently raising the defendant's two young children. LaJoyce took the children in after DCFS took them away from the defendant. And she's suing the defendant today for the balance due on four loans. Defendant Shamikia Gentry says growing up, she was a ward of the state and a runaway. And she had her first child when she was 16. Shamikia claims aside from one sister, LaJoyce is the only family she has. And she feels the money from LaJoyce should be a gift. Start with you. I am 81 years old and I survived colon cancer mm -hmm and a triple bypass within you. a six month period. God bless you. Today, I'm <laughs> Today, I'm here trying to raise a four year old and a nine year old. These are the children of Shay Gentry. They live with you? Yes, they do, so it's uh, August She does last also? Year. No. Why do they stay with you without her? Well, she dates my stepson, and they had an altercation. So DCFS came to take the kids. I happened to be there, and I told them I would take the kids. But I don't want to discuss okay, all of Okay, good enough. All right, we don't have to go through it. And how's that? How long have you been raising them Since in the household? August 7th of last year. Is that too much for you? Do it's you have some help? It's beginning to get too much. I'm getting yeah. very tired because... I'm really too old, yeah. but they're going and taking courses, doing what they're supposed to do to get their kids back. And I hope that they, you know, get them back real soon. I didn't want to separate the family. Good. You're I, a great lady. How do you and the defendant get along? And fine, what type of relationship fine. have you had other than that? We have a good relationship. I met Shay when she was dating my stepson. She was about 19 years old. And she told me how she grew up in the system. And I felt sorry for her. And I just did everything I could to help her. All right, let me hear from you. Well, Your Honor, I got a lot of love for, love and respect for Joyce. Mm -hmm. mm, I met her through her stepson. That's my son's father. Mm -hmm. He introduced us when I was 19. And ever since then, she been like a mother figure to me. Like she say, um, I was a ward of the state. I was a runaway. I had my first child when I was 16. Besides, one of my sisters, Joyce, her husband, and her stepson is the only family that I had. How old were you when you got your own place? 19. Okay. So did you get your high school diploma? And... I got my GED when I was 19. Good. How old are you now? I'm 26. All right. Did you go further? No. No? Why not? <laughs> Uh, just being honest, mm -hmm. I was, uh, went to school for criminal justice, but I stopped because I felt that I was going for the money and I felt that wasn't right. So I had to go find me a job. So I was been. So you're I not just, gonna go for anything just for the money. I just been working. That ain't for right. Me. Something wrong with that. Right. To work for money. <laughs> 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 or to go to or to go to school to get a job to work for money. All right. So where you work? Right now, working at UPS. All right. Well, the UPS uh, typically pays well, so you're doing all right without uh, having advanced your education. But you know, I think you need to do that because ultimately, a lot of these jobs go away one way or the other, um, and so you have to have a skill to rely on so that you can take that skill somewhere else. But um, glad to hear that you overcame that. And the reason I was asking those questions is because I was hoping that you, and I'm sure you perhaps will, uh, continue to uplift yourself. So it sounds like you've done a good job somewhere so far. Plaintiff LaJoyce Carter Joyner says she's 81 years old, but she's currently raising the defendant's two young children because DCFS took them away from the defendant. And why are you suing her? Tell me about the loans. Okay, Your Honor, I loaned Shay four different loans. And here's a list. Let's see it, please. They have the time frames on there as well. What is that? The times you loaned it to oh, her? Oh, yes, the dates. Right. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Um, I loaned her for car repair, March of 2014, $1,500. And she was supposed to pay me when she got her next tax return which I did not get. 
Of course not. <laughs> and, and that particular car was totaled, so I got her a 2013 car Versa, and I loaned her $1,350 for a down payment. And she had $200 traffic ticket. One, okay. And $79 was for a mini physical for her little girl to go to school. Okay. And that totaled $3,130. She paid me $1,300. And that left a balance of $1,830. Where'd she get that money at one time? Income that... tax. Okay, she finally got that income <laughs> yeah. tax. All right, so at least she kept a little bit of her word. And I have all these receipts here for Let's see them, the loans. Young lady, what do you want to tell me? Well, I did owe her for those for long. The first year, I, I had agreed to pay her back when I got my taxes. The first year, I didn't get my taxes. The second year, I paid her the 1300 I didn't pay her the rest because I felt that she should gift me that money because she had gifted me other loans before and she know my situation so that's why i didn't pay her back the rest of the money because you think she should give you the money that's what you're saying yes <clears throat> <laughs> i don't even know what to say to that. You have anything else to say, ma'am? You know what she says is uh, not a legal defense. So I'll grant you your judgment. Her belief is that you should forgive this because you've forgiven other loans in the past. That's what she's saying. But this time you want your money. I want my money, yes. This is not last time. This is this time. <laughs> That's right. And it's yeah. probably why you are not letting her off the hook this time because you're letting her off the hook so many other times. I have to teach her responsibility. That's right. You think you need anything in addition to a GED or a high school diploma? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. All right, at least you know that. And you haven't decided what you want to pursue? Nope. So how are you going to determine it? Well, I got a lot going on right now, so I got to... Challenges? Yeah. Okay. All right, so um, this is the time uh, that you should still try and prepare for when the challenges are over, that you can uh, pursue something uh, that'll prepare you for the future beyond um, what you have. All right, good luck to you. I'm glad to see once again you overcame your obstacles, uh, but you have to pay uh, her judgment. She's letting you off the hook several times, not doing it today. Good luck to you both. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you. We will remain friends forever. She has two children. I love her and the children. She my greatest blessing, so.